Ryan asked me how I did this uh, second user thing with the ping URL, so I thought I'd just make a really short video here to show you how I did this. Uh, so here's my order form. I've got three custom fields in here. I've got second user first name, last name, and email address for the second user. So if I put in a test record, here I put myself in, uh, purchase the item, put in a test. I've got down here, I've got a uh, custom section with the three fields in here. So here they are. So here's my test. I did a second user and a second email address. Uh, when they purchase the product, they get put into a delivery sequence. And as part of that delivery sequence, it's giving them uh, access to the membership site. But then it's also pinging the second user and adding the second user in. And here is the rule that does that. It looks to make sure that we had a second user email address in there. And it's also looking to see which product they purchased because there's three different products in this delivery sequence and they're slightly different on the post data that we put in there. But uh, I've just set up a uh, API ID and key uh, specifically for this right in the same Entreport account. And it's just gonna push it right back into itself. So the post data, here is the post data that's going in here. Uh, it's getting posted to the uh, Entreport API. And then we've got contact info. So in this case, the new contact records email will be equal to the staff member email field, the custom field I made for email. The first name will be the custom first name I made and the last name will be the custom last name I made. And then at the same time, I'm also pushing in tags. So I'm tagging them with which uh, product they bought so that I'll be able to figure out which access to give them to the membership site. And I'm also putting them in a welcome sequence for them. So that's gonna give them the access to the site, send them email, all that. And then the last thing I'm doing is I also want to be able to tell them uh, who purchased this for them. So I'm flip-flopping the field. So the person that purchased it, the first name here, is getting put into the custom field and the uh, custom first and last name fields. So that then I can send an email to the new person that says, hey, this is who purchased this for you. So in this case, it's supposed to be the owner of the business and then they're allowed uh, access for an office manager or someone like that who's actually going to be probably implementing what they just bought. So that's how uh, that works. So that is that is the post data that's going in here. And because this is so tiny, you can't really see it. So that's how I did that. And then, uh, yeah. So as soon as they go through the sequence, it pushes this in. And then instantly, you can see here, if we go back into contacts, uh, it pushes me in and instantly I've got the second user gets added in and uh, comes in into that oops, comes in into that sequence and comes in with the tag so that I know which access to give them. And then the original purchaser ends up down here as a staff member in this case. And I could have set up another custom field for that, but I just didn't think it was necessary. So that's it. Hope that helps.